Hi guys, this is a brief tutorial of what I call alphabet street. It does nothing but this alphabet we generated using a for loop. So what I'm going to do now is we have a go at creating one for ourselves. So let's start by importing the following. So that's going to be TK in and let's import. Okay, let me say import all. So we start that by saying from. Okay, there. Now, the app is going to be known as root tk. Then let's define the the title. So that's going to be that. I'm going to call it alphabet street. Yeah, that's the title taken care of. And the other thing we want to do is to define the geometry and the back color there. So followed by I'm gonna create frame. I need three of those. So those the frame is going to be inside the root and the back color for that frame. I'm gonna make it powdered blue. There we go. Close that. There's a comma. I make that 20 and we'll leave it so that's going to be rigid there we go all right so let's say abc dot grid there that is my that's my main frame created and i will now create two other frames so speed that up those are the two other frames that i've created all right so the next thing is i'm going to define the following part equals string variable and z equals string variable as well copy paste there we go done so for the very first frame this very one here that is going to be LBL title and that is going to be a label there and the text content on that label equals alphabet street so copy that paste that right in there alphabet street and let's add some space to that and some space here as well maybe more right and the font color for that is going to be let's go for font size is going to or font type let's say area and the size is going to be 30 and make that bold there close that so let's speed up the rest of the properties okay let's let's close it up here let's say root like it to look right now the next thing is let me save it then we'll run it and see how it all looks like so I'm gonna call it alphabet up let's come in here just call it alphabet up alphabet street I will call it right now save if I run it and let's see how it's gonna look like there's a comma missing here so we enter the comma there that's fine now Hopefully, let's run it again, and there that's how it looks. So, the next thing I want to do now is to use a for loop to generate buttons. So, let's start by saying alphabet variable for this alphabet equals let's say a b c there that is my alphabet so for this alphabet now what I would then do is I'm going to go for btn or you can just type in button equals let me enter an array for j in the range of one two seven that's going to be the arrangement of the buttons 
for k in range let's make that five there need to enter a semicolon there as well right well the column not a semicolon btn dot append um, what I would like to append is buttons so the buttons should be inside a b c 2 the frame 2 is the one I'm calling here right now and the width the width of the button is going to be let's go for 9 heights maybe I just go for 1 1 and the font color let's copy this font type I mean copy paste it right there right the comma and let's say b bg equals 4 text on these buttons equals alphabet pad alphabet pad this very one and alphabet pad is that's the array close that and that is all so btn dot array i dot grid and let's enter them in a row equals rule equals j and column if you guess k that is correct equals k and let's part it by y equals 8 and pad x equals 8 as well and there okay let's increment i now i plus equals 1 and that's all there is to it okay so let's get it de indented because that might end up with an error then we can then try it out let's now go to run save it first there we go there is an error i is not defined i oh i should be up there i equals zero And there guys that is how you generate your own alphabet straight okay now I'm gonna close that let's try one more thing now supposing we decide to use ASCII character I'm gonna copy all of this and I'll paste it right up here and let's see what's gonna happen supposing I just enter 40 in there and I have my two variables anyway so let's come up here and just down here and say pad equals z comma char i and in here I can I'm gonna copy this just want to show you guys another method of what's going to happen so I'm just going to now say alphabet pound equals pad there and I will comment this out let's run that and see what will happen oh this is an error i is not defined let's see why is i not the oh this is i there should be i in there or I can just change that to there's a q change this to q as well so that's fine Instead of mixing up all the eyes there we go look at what happened okay and that's how you develop your own alphabet app in uh, Python using for loop so let me show you guys the lines of codes again here are the lines of codes let's move this up so that you see all of the codes there you can always improve on this and see whatever you can do with it there guys so with that I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial I suppose you enjoyed you all have a nice day now 
and buy for now. So comment that out and use the other one. There we go. Bye for now.